Marcello Gandini was born in 1938 in Turin, Italy. Son of an orchestra conductor, he graduated as a graphic designer from the local University of Turin. At age six, Gandini designed his first car, which was a Lamborghini Countach, known for the, bir for the first middle-engine vehicle for the public market. Marcello Gandini is one of the best car designers known in the business. Since his career took off in the 1960s, many have argued that he's the best car designer that ever came out of Italy and maybe Europe. His designs have shaped the way designers think about lines and aerodynamics on a vehicle. Gandini's work still shows today in the in new cars, but we don't expect more designs from him since he switched to designing planes. <laughs> His best known design in the industry and in his career was his first. As a kid, Gandini sketched a vehicle with a wide and long frame and wide tires. When Gandini was hired by the group Bertone at age 21, where he let loose all his designs of planes, cars, motorcycles, and even the interior of a nightclub. The first design was a Lamborghini Countach. The Countach was the birth of the trunkless cars for the upper class and truck racing days. What defines his designs is his Italian flamboyance that's on all his designs. Marcello Gandini was distinct from other automotive designers. He specified that his designs weren't art by saying a car can't be art to be art can't have any other purpose than itself. Marcello Gandini was sought globally with four other designers which helped create the design foundations for most of the European brands in the post-World War II. The technology used by Marcelo was programmed such as Rhino. Marcelo didn't use much technology, he preferred the detail of a lid. He sketched out all of his designs. 3D CAD came out in the 1980s, which he found not amusing. Some examples of his designs are such automotives as the Lamborghini Diablo. Designed in 1990, that was his number 18 car design in his career. The first to design the BMW 5 Series was Marcelo in 1972. One of my favorite designs was the LP500. Marcelo Gandini used heavy metals on his designs. But as he got more into racing, he noticed he needed lighter materials, so he started using things like carbon fiber, magnesium, and aluminum to make the car performance much better. He also used simple ordinary objects like rulers, cast iron, rubber, plastic, and glass on most of his designs. Marcelo Gandini first started off sketching his ideas. Then as he, as he got better at sketching his ideas, he learned a program called Rhinoceros 3D to make his designs more precise. After using Rhino for a couple of years, he familiarized himself with another program called AutoCAD to finish off his final design or model. Marcelo Gandini didn't struggle much in his career. You can say he has a natural born talent. <laughs> that talent is to design Italian sports cars. Throughout his career, his desi he designed plenty of cars, enough to make him the best from Turin, Italy. So he didn't really need to discipline himself to succeed. He just had the skills.